All right, let's look at the automatic high beams. That is always activated by rotating it up to the automatic high beam switch and then back down to wherever the setting was. In this case, it was in auto. So that begins and you'll see in the center console the high beam indicator with the A uh, looks just like this and it'll be activated. Doesn't necessarily mean it'll be high beams. You'll see those in a minute. Alright, so there it is when you turn it on and notice that it's white. That means that the high beams are not on by the automatic system. Uh, when it is, it'll turn blue. Alright, let's see if I'll go into high beam getting out of the garage here. Well, looks like we have to get on the road here, so let's do that. Uh, the car has some nice night light highlights. And there we are with the high beams on. And I'll show it on the road too. So here we are driving along with the high beams on. Of course, we're not on the highway yet. Try and grab some automatic off, automatic on situations. Uh, I do have some false signals from time to time, so we'll see how that works. So this should turn off because there's a car in front of us, and it is off, and there's a truck. So it'll remain off and it should go on after the truck passes. And there it goes. And then if it sees the car in front of us again, it'll go off. too far in front. Oh, there he went. Okay. So, it either, yeah, it saw the reflectors on the sign off to the side of the road. Someone had put a whole bunch of uh, red reflectors at the end of their driveway to help them go into their particular driveway, and it saw that and uh, clicked off. And the car's coming. It clicked off. No cars and it clicked on. So that is the automatic high beam feature. All right, so let's uh, drive this car around a little bit. And the one thing I want to show you right out the gate, so we don't have to look at it later, is the gas mileage. That is just incredible. Just below 28 miles to the gallon. Uh, so, fantastic gas mileage on this heavy 4,000 pound vehicle.